Hey everybody, Chris Farage here. Welcome to Kingdom Two Crowns. This is a sequel to the original Kingdom and Kingdom New Lands. Uh, Kingdom Two Crowns focuses a little bit more on the uh, campaign side of things, less so on the roguelike. It is still different every time you go in, um, but if you die, you're not permanently dead. You'll come back and have to like rebuild your destroyed kingdom with a new monarch. Um, so yeah, let's just dive in. We'll try and get off this island and uh, see what we can do. The embargo for this is a little bit strange. Um, the game releases on Tuesday. I can show you about 40 minutes a day up until then. And when that happens, then you can do as much as we want. So if you guys are into Kingdom, I'll keep going. Uh, but let's get started. And I'll try to explain things a little bit. Uh, if you've never played Kingdom before, try to give you an idea of what the whole thing's about. So story-wise, many failed, but this king... We'll do better. Absolutely we will. Look at us. Riding in our majestic beast. The idea here is we need to build, expand, survive, and <laughs> deal with a ton of problems in our kingdom. Uh, we have to manage people, we have to recruit people, we have to uh, build up defenses, we have to explore, hopefully not get killed by these enemies called the Greed. And, uh, all the while, just, uh, become rich. Uh, that would be nice, too. Yeah, we'll try to become rich. We got money just laying all over the place, no big deal. This little, uh, fairy helper here will guide us a little bit to begin. So she wants us to come here and start a fire, which will begin our kingdom. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna drop coins to recruit these guys. This is important because we need people to work for us. We're gonna build a bow. They're just going to grab it. The way these guys work is they just kind of navigate back and forth, and whatever they run into is what they're going to grab. So uh, you don't want to just buy a bunch of hammers and buy a bunch of bows and let them decide. You want to kind of do it one thing at a time after you recruit people uh, to really focus in on what you want built and when. All right, so we're going to drop a wall here. It's more of like a fence post, but that's okay. It'll get us started. We can also gallop, go a little faster, but our horse does have a, a stamina meter that is kind of, it's invisible, but once they start huffing and puffing, that's an indication of when you need to uh, slow down. She's going to guide us over here to recruit one of these guys. So let's do that. Come and join us, please. And we'll probably make you a bowman. Yep. All right. Cool. I should mention, you can play this game co-op now as well, which is really cool. Um, something I might dabble in if you guys are interested. But uh, for now, we're just going to kind of get our beak wet, if you will, and build, expand, defend. Okay, we're on our own. Cool. So I'm going to immediately go out here and try and recruit this other guy. Come and join us. Uh, the fairy will leave us. She's gone. We're completely on our own. We're gonna want to build some defenses over on this right side. I need to, I need to get some coins uh, so that we can get another bowman going. Now these guys are gonna make money by hunting these rabbits, hunting deer. We can encourage more rabbits to show by uh, clearing some of the forested areas. So we're gonna look for that. You can see these guys were holding on to our coins. Now we can. Give this guy a bow here. And the controls are very simple. You just move left and right, uh, down on the slots that are empty. And like this, here we go. Our builder will come, will come over and handle that. I don't need to have too many builders right now because we're not going to be expanding rapidly. Money is going to be tight for a little bit. But uh, it should be alright. Okay, so let's take a look over here again. We know this is where our recruits will come from. Every day or so, I think we should be able to find a new recruit here. Out in this section, this little hut, that's where this merchant with the colored horse comes into play. I'm going to clear out this tree, try and get some more space for rabbits. Now this guy, uh, when he comes to town on the next day, he will have money for you. And then you can give him another coin, he will go out and go to that little hut that we saw. And he will come back and give us more money. That's that's his job, which I'm happy about. We're going to try and, like, deforest this section over here. 
It's still early in the day, you can tell, uh, because of the sun going from left to right in the back. Uh, but we only have one builder, so he's going to be running back and forth, depending on where we have him, uh, what we have him doing. But if we take this down, it will get rid of this camp, so we do not want to do that. Here's another recruit we can grab. Thank you. Welcome to the team. I'm going to go ahead and get... Uh, yeah, let's get another bowman. Okay, so tomorrow we'll get cash from him. And when you cut the trees down with the one coin, you get the coin back when the tree falls. So you're not actually paying to cut them down. Uh, he can probably come out and cut one more before the night's over. And when tomorrow hits, we're going to use that opportunity to go and scout. So, because of the day-night cycle, we're safe to scout during the day, but at night, these little enemies will come running at us from either side of our kingdom. And that's why we want to have those outskirts protected. Uh, we can set up a tower behind them if we want, and that will permanently man one of these bowmen in there. But uh, for now, I'm okay if they're running back and forth and dealing with things as they see fit, uh, instead of permanently having them up here, so. Okay. Nighttime's coming. We're all gonna be cool. This early on, we don't really have too much to worry about. Uh, I might as well go ahead and upgrade our main camp. This is kind of like a technology tree, if you will, without the tree aspect. It's like technology advancement. So whenever you invest in this midsection, um, you can build bigger and better outer walls and different things become available to you, uh, as you continue to do that. Okay. So, we saw the attack on the left. Very minor, obviously. But I'm going to take this opportunity to start my day really early. And try to get a sense of what we're dealing with out here. Looks like I can kind of deforest this whole left side. There's not a lot going on here. And that will encourage a lot of uh, rabbits. Which means our hunters will have a lot to do. And we might be able to get full through to the left side of this area, what we're looking for is we're looking for a boat. Once we find that boat, we can start uh, to build it. Whoa, hello, that's new. Okay, so I don't know what goes into here, but it's not coins, so we need to find some, like, looks like gems to put in there. And that will activate something. Little treasure chest, thank you. A lot of this game, if you've never played it before, a lot of this game is experimenting and just trying things. Here we go, three gems to activate this. I don't know what that does. We're gonna find out. It looks like a little farm or something. There's like an archery thing, so maybe upgrades our archer somehow. More gems for this thing. In the first kingdom, there were no gems. Um... It was strictly coins that we were working with. And we could find, like, these weird structures out here. And those structures, when we activate them, would unlock weird circumstances, let's say. And they weren't always entirely clear. Alright, we have another uh, recruit camp here, but... I'm not sure those guys are going to get back. This is... We're out really far. But I'm kind of committed here. Alright, yeah. So there's the gate where the bad dudes come from. This whole left side, there's a couple of gems that we can use to upgrade or um, activate certain things, maybe. But, uh, you know what I'm going to do, because it's getting dark? I'm going to leave a little trail of coins here. That if So if one of the greed come and grab these coins, just because I have so many... Uh, that should protect these guys. Now, if they send a ton, then it's going to be a bit of a problem. Okay, they're starting to run, so that's good. Yeah, see? Right there. So we may only have a couple. There we go. That just makes us... They'll, they'll grab whatever they can and then run back. So, in a way, it costs a little bit more to recruit these guys because they're way far out there and I grab them uh, late in the day. But hopefully that's enough. I'll drop one more behind them. If if those things don't come... Yeah, no, it looks like we're fine. Um, 
If they don't come, the coin's not going to disappear or anything. We can always go back and get it, so. But now we have a lay of the left side. We're going to go over to the right now, and we'll likely find that boat that we talked about. We're going to run out of juice on our horse here. You can see we're really far out. This left side is actually monstrous. I'm going to mark some of these trees for, uh, for takedown. Now I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we got enough there. Oh, actually the night's just beginning, so I wonder. It is far, but I might come out here and try to protect these two guys. Because if they get hit by those greed, then... I should actually... I don't want to be galloping here because I might have to gallop home. Yeah, they're still okay. I'm pretty sure we got those guys at, like, their first point of where they spawned. And we were able to save these guys from getting hit. But if they did get hit, they drop the coins and we'd have to come rehire them. And the greed takes the coins, so we lose even more than what we've already invested in them. So we're gonna, gonna, gonna kind of guide these guys back. And just make sure that they're safe. Okay, we're good. Sun's coming up. Day three. Feels nice. Alright. This is going to be a ton of land over here for rabbits to spawn. Uh, we have farmland eventually that we can build on these little sections. Uh, but we're not going to do that just yet. I'm now going to focus a lot of my energy on that right side. And I don't want to overflow my bag here because if we overflow, we just lose the coins. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Yikes. Close. Let's uh, upgrade this. We'll have one builder and one archer. And now what we need to do is we really need to find... ...where that boat is. Boom. Okay, this is good news. We found the boat. We need to invest money in it to build the boat. There's another recruit tree, or a recruit camp out here. So what we're going to do is... We're going to start to uh, go out to this right side now. And we want to be able to fortify this boat and protect it from... Uh, from the greed enemies that are coming from the right. So I'm okay if we lose our first recruitment camp. Uh, we should have enough here to build a whole bunch of bowmen. We've got, uh, what? Three or four? Four, four or five recruits now, actually. With those two. Alright, let's get this guy some money so he can go out again. I think we probably lost a little bit of time there by not sending him sooner, but... Let's actually see. Let's get this thing maxed out. Why not? If memory serves, uh, we'll eventually get, like, uh, a banker. Yeah, this guy right here. So what I can do is drop money, and eventually... He'll put it inside. Okay, so what this does, he's storing our money, and if we ever need to take that money out, we can get it. But he's also, uh, we're also gaining interest from that. So the more we invest, the more interest we'll earn over time. That's a banking lesson, kids. Alright, now we'll take all this money from them. Thank you. And when the next day pops... We are going to run out to that boat. See, I lost a little money, a little money there because we have too much of it. All right. Now I'm not building towers here, only because I don't want to force these guys to be stuck in a location right now. I want them to be able to flex where they're needed. All right, perfect. I'm going out. 
Uh, yeah, no, I'm going. Drop this, we'll recruit him. Start taking down this tree. And we'll see if we can get some boat action going here. I'd like to have a spot... Like, I'd like to be able to take some of these trees down and have a spot where I can defend it, but... That might be a second. We'll see what happens with these trees that we take down. Uh, do I want to get another builder? Maybe. Let's have this guy knock all these tr trees down on the way. If I don't have to get rid of that merchant camp, that would be ideal. Because I think it will disappear. See, all of these, none of these trees can be taken down. So I might be forced to do it. Which I'm really not thrilled about. Maybe it doesn't go, though. It's possible. One thing I will do, I'm gonna... Hmm. We'll take that down, which should give me access to build here. What I need to do is clear out this section. I think I should probably hire another builder. Hopefully these guys are okay. Because once we can get that outer fence up, we're in an okay spot. Okay. So we can't upgrade this anymore because we need stone. Now, I don't think there's anywhere for me to get stone in this area. So we likely... Oh, there's my interest. Nice. Thank you. We likely have to uh, leave the island, which is why we want to... get to that boat. Let's have two builders. All of our hunters on this side should be doing quite well. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Good work. And I'm okay with this one little fence defending us. We should be alright. I am worried about our builders over in that boat section, so... Hopefully they're coming home fast enough. Here's the guy that didn't pick up a job yet. I think we have the hammer for him. Let's just double check. No, it's gone. So, you can become a bowman. Nice. These guys are running back. This is beautiful. So, morning time, we're going to run back out to that boat. Try to continue deforesting on that side. And you can kind of get, like, a rhythm. You can start to feel the rhythm of this game a little bit. Okay, let's go. And once we build, like... An outer wall here. Yeah, see, we might not be able to. We might have to take that down, which means that we're no longer going to be earning income from the other from that guy. I don't think, anyways. I think he'll be gone, which is okay. We have a lot of hunting lands. Uh, it's just kind of unfortunate that he's placed so close to our boat, but it's cool. Let's take this down. Once that's down, we should be able to build there, and we can also push these trees back then. Uh, let's continue to invest in our boat. There it is. And pretty soon, we can actually just give her. 
I think we need to populate the boat first. Yeah, see all these people? They're all running to the boat. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm so, I'm so rich, I'm like throwing money away. It's crazy. It's crazy, this will never happen again. Oh, look at it. Oh, she caught it, that's nice. Okay, let's do a little bit of this. This guy can take some of my money. Alright, let's take this big batch of coins. And let's see if we can't set sail. Look at it, it's overflowing. No more money, please. Zero. Alright, this thing is gone. Can I build here? Can build here. So then, I think we just need to set sail with this next batch of coins. Boom. Master of the sea. Absolutely. Cool. Alright. So, what do we need to find? We need to find gems. We need to find a way to get stone. And I don't know if we need to be bouncing back and forth between the islands all the time. But we'll soon find out. Okay, we can go. Nice. Okay. So, it looks like the boat is busted here as well, which means if we want to travel back, that's a pretty big investment. We have a couple of people that we can... Oh, here's our workers already working. Sure, take that tree down. We don't want that. So, it's not like we're starting with nothing in the second area. Technology-wise, we are. Let's get up some basic walls. And what do we want this other guy to become? Probably want to build up defenses. Alright. Try and boost our town as quickly as we can. Merchants coming from the left. Our builders have nothing to build. Let's go cruising. Okay, so this is the merchant's place. Fine, cool. Hello. Oh, nice. Okay, gems. There we go. So those are the things we're going to throw into who knows what back on that first island. Or maybe not even. Let's try it. No idea what that did. That's what I like about this game. What do we have here? Oh. Tease. Absolute tease fest. Oh, look at this. This is a, um... He's carrying in the scythe. So this is like an upgrade for our farmers, I think. Cool. I would advise, if you guys have never played the game, I would advise you not to look up things on a wiki and just experiment and see how things go because I think that you'll get way more out of it than if you try and figure out exactly what's happening all the time. Uh, I think we're going to keep this coin on us for a bit. Not going to start repairing this boat. What I am going to do start clearing tree sections here and look to maybe get some farming up and running. This will be our main island for now. Hey guys, you want to come and join the best kingdom in the land? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Enjoy your sick new PJs. Courtesy of the king. Now these guys are going pretty far out, but... I just want to give us an opportunity to kind of farm some of this area. And by farm, I mean kill the rabbits. Whoa. Was that, uh... 
Oh no, he grabbed it, okay. Or did he? Maybe that was a greed that was there. Okay guys, get home, get home, get home. Okay, so we've done a gem upgrade. Now we need to figure out how to get uh, bigger upgrades like stone, because that's going to be a limiting factor here as well. Okay, I think that's everybody. Oh no, not even. We've got three builders, we've got a bunch of bowmen. And I guess with those gems, we're gonna have to be careful too because if you think about it, they could probably overflow and drop as well, but if they're at the bottom of our bag, it feels much better. All right, I'm gonna keep pushing out this way for a second. We saw that big monument on the left that we definitely want to check out. We're gonna get them to take these trees down. That's about as much as we want to get rid of over here. We'll let them do that. They can collect the coins, I'll get it from them later. I think we should have enough to see what that monument was. We could just upgrade this. And I'm guessing we should start thinking about heavily fortifying this place, this island. So I think this is a farming upgrade. It would make sense because that sickle is what the farmers carry once that gets unlocked. But this now, what is this thing? Uh, okay. Maybe like a quarry, maybe? And now we got gems flowing. Okay, so. I wonder if... If we could just build our boat and go back to our other uh, island. I wonder if this allows us to upgrade to the stone era. We'll call it. I'm gonna go ahead and guess probably yes. Sorry, I might have had the mouse on the screen distracting, my bad. So, I don't, I don't really want to get rid of this. Because that's just free money that comes in. A little short, but... Yeah, uh, hello. Beautiful. Once that's done, we'll be able to see if, in fact, that does unlock the stone, because... We were limited on the first island, so. Hey guys, it's nighttime. Come on in. How's the tree chopping? Good to hear it. Come on in there, Bill. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. It seems like the count of the day-night cycle um, resets at the new island, which is cool. Because you, you obviously are going to have to build up from scratch every time you move, but... Um, in order to build your... your uh, boat and get back, like, that's a huge investment. So, until I have a reason to go back, I think we'll probably focus on fortifying ourselves here.
Nice. Okay, so our banker dude's back. Once we can check the upgrade for this, we'll be able to see. We'll be able to see exactly as to whether or not the stone thing is in fact what we guessed. Come on, join me. Free pajamas for all. I'm just gonna scout on this day and see where this gets us. Now, I don't know if the money that we invested in the first place carries over here. Like, we were giving our, our banker cash. I don't know if this guy will suddenly start giving us interest. I'm gonna guess no, but... Because I assume that nothing really happens here. Oh, here's a gem. What the hell? Whoa, I got a new horse! What? That is incredible. What about, what about my old horse? Why would I ever want to go back to that? Oh, hello. Okay. Whoa, what? You see that? These things had like hearts come over them. I wonder if that... Are they going to follow me? Interesting. Am I, am I crazy with the hearts? No, they're totally following me. I'm going to lure them back to their death. And I cover a lot more ground. Look at this. Hello? Maybe I've maybe I have too much love. Okay, did not know that this was a thing. That's cool. I like that. We are absolutely cruising. Uh, we could actually set up a tower here if we wanted. That'll eliminate some of the bunny farming here, but that's actually not so bad. There we go, yeah. That did unlock that. Okay, cool. Boom. And actually, does that give that makes all of our walls stone automatically? That's dope. Look. Farmers. I'm gonna recruit one. We still need to build a farm, though. Ooh, hello. That's a problem. Okay, so these guys lost their tools. Let's see, will they go and pick that up? That was a little bit ballsy, I guess. I assume I'm, I'm luring these guys to hunt. To be hunted. So I shouldn't have upgraded this thing because I think that screwed us up a little bit. That could have... That actually could have been really bad, but it's so early that we're able to handle it. This is so cool. Okay, so they're gonna finish this. Come join. I don't really have a purpose for being out this far, so... I think what we'll do is... Hmm. We have a fair amount of recruits. I just- I'm gonna validate the left side. We're gonna really go all in on protecting this boat once we start to build that. So right side's recruits, left side- hold on. Okay, so every 10 he throws in there. 
We have a farmer that wants to work. So what do we get rid of? The farmer or the recruits? I think... I think we get rid of the farmer. Or not the farmer, the, uh, the merchant. Because we're gonna... We're gonna basically turn this all into, uh... Rabbit land and... Maybe we can build a farm out here. Look at this big, beautiful buck in front of you. That's right, you do love me. Come and join the kingdom. You won't be slaughtered or anything. Can I march this one? Okay, so this right here, this can become a farm. Alright, everybody home. It's almost nighttime. Don't do anything crazy. Since I have a lot of extra coin... We'll have to give these guys something to do at night. I don't know if these guys are gonna make it home, but we'll see. They're fairly close. Yeah, they're gonna do fine. Okay. Uh, until we get that farm up, I'm not going to invest in farming too much. I think another builder might be alright. This is a lot of cash there. I haven't seen this thing get tired once either. Go. I think they came and attacked already. Yeah, so sun's coming up. We should be good to go. I'd like to start a farm here and then protect it with a wall. That'd be nice. But I think we're doing all right so far, guys. What do you think? If this is your first time watching Kingdom, hopefully you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know, but... Um, a lot of it is is based on just exploring, trying things out. Uh, I will continue going if you guys are into it. It's really fun. It's very calming. It's it's, a, it's simple on the surface, but there's a lot underneath. It's like makes you wonder what's really going on here. And uh, yeah, it's 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 really fun. It's available on like a whole bunch of systems. I'll have links down below if you want to check that out. That'd be cool. Um, and as I said, I'll try to answer any questions that you may have to the best of my ability. And we'll just wrap it up here. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. Bye for now.